Today I made a video about how you go and take a component and then move it to a new game object. Now it's something that Unity doesn't really let you do but I've kind of got a bit of a workaround here and I'll show you why you want to do this in this video. So it's a little bit of a follow on from last week if you want to see why I've, where I've got to and how this has progressed have a look up here. Other than that you don't need that so let's go to get into it. Okay, so I made this particle system and it is, it, well it took me 10 minutes say to set up, it's got a star on it that's pretty color blue, I changed how many particles, the speed, the direction, it, there's a lot of presets to have in the particle system and it, it took me a little bit to set up. So when the dot moves across, I want this particle system to go onto the box. If I put game object dot add component and put particle system, that's not going to add the particle system that I just spent 10 minutes adding to my game object. What that's going to do is, we'll go back to Unity here and have a look. When it goes across and hits the box, um, press the arrow button, good work, it puts a new particle system on, which is like the default particle system. And that's not kind of what I wanted. You can see there it's all default. It, it's I wanted to add the stars to it. So you can see all the presets that are set in there. And what I could do now is I could go back into the code and I could put in the game object and I could um, get, get the component now of the particle system that I'm adding and then I could add all the presets that I've just spent 10 minutes adding to this thing. But look how many presets are there. There's like so many different things that are in a particle system. To set it up exactly the same way as the one that I've set up is going to take a fair period of time. I'm not going to do it like that. That's just not going to do it for me. What I'm going to do is when I get the collision, I'm going to instantiate a new game object. We're going to call it Go for game object. And what that will do is it will instantiate a whole new dot. But we don't want all the other components of dot added to it. That's not going to work exactly either, but we'll, I'll put it as uh, make the box apparent, and then when so that dot will come through as a child as the box of the box. But like I said, that would have all the things. So what I'm going to add to that is. I just destroy all the other components that are on the on this here particles uh, on the dot. So you have a look at the dot, and there's a sprite renderer, a move dot script, a circle collider, and a rigid body 2D. What we're going to do is add or delete all those components: the sprite renderer, the move dot script, the um, rigid body 2d and the last one is the circle collider 2d now when that dot hits our box it's going to put a sprite it puts a particle system on there and that's a child of that and all it is is the particle system the same one that i set up for um, my initial dot and so what the advantage of this is, I can go now, um, if we add the camera to the move dot, and then I'll go through and duplicate the box a few times, and we'll move them like that, and we'll get them and move them like that, and then 
if you go through now, all these will get a child of the same particle system, and it, it kind of looks pretty cool. And yeah, so that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's this is a probably really handy if you've got a component that's got a lot of presets, like a particle system or something like that. It's not something you probably do for all game objects, but it's definitely great for particle systems and kind of things. Um, I'm going to keep making some Unity videos. Stick around, subscribe, and add some comments if you need some help with anything. I'm always happy to jump in here. And I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you. See ya.